China is a major participant in the world commodity markets. The impact of China's economic activity and its policies related to strategic reserve holdings, trade and environment are often seen as having a large impact on commodity prices. For two decades, the Chinese economy has largely been driven by investment-led growth, so infrastructure and power thrived. In 2015, the Chinese policymakers took a conscious decision to gradually shift to consumption-led growth. This move gave a big boost to sectors such as automobiles, white goods and livestock. At the same time, exports are key to the Asian major's growth, especially high-value added goods. So whichever way you look, commodities will always be a major part for China. And that is the Chinese percentage share in global export markets, which has been steadily growing. And currently, 15% of overall global export market belongs to China. China is a large consumer of a broad range of primary commodities. As a percentage of global production, China's consumption approximately accounts for 20% of non-renewable energy, 23% agriculture crops, and 45% of all base metals. If we break it down further into specific commodities, Half or more of steel, copper, nickel and cement is consumed by China. Even some of the agricultural commodities like soybean and rice and industrial agri-commodities like corn and cotton have a big market in China. China also is the largest consumer of gold in the world. India is second. As the economies open after the pandemic, the demand for commodities has come roaring back. The easy money in the global markets also led to funds long positions. China being the largest player in commodities saw inflation surge due to rising raw material prices, making its products less competitive as the companies were not able to pass full prices to consumers, leading to China taking various measures from warning companies, asking them to limit exposures to foreign markets and the latest being the decision to release metals from the strategic reserves. While the steps have led to a pause in one way, but the rally in the commodity markets keeps coming back on all lows. We did see all-time highs for many of these commodity markets, but the expectation is that as the economies open and the supply tightness continues, it will support commodity prices. But we will have to wait to see on what China has to offer next. MCX IPF presents Commodities Trade. Brought to you by MCX IPF.